In other news right now, a ship carrying a 100 ton containment box will arrive at the Gulf oil slick in less than an hour. It will be then lowered 5,000 feet into the water. Now the concrete and steel structure is 40 feet tall and will be outfitted with valves and pipes that can carry the crude oil to a tanker. BP hopes to be able to hook up the device sometime this weekend. The Coast Guard opened an oil spill command post today in St. Petersburg. They'll be responsible for steadying the oil slicks effects on Florida's west coast and coordinating cleanup efforts from the Big Bend area to the Everglades City. Once again, scientists have pushed their estimates on when oil could reach Florida's shores. 10 Connects reporter Noah Pransky is live tonight in Pensacola Beach. And Noah, people there are feeling a little bit better about their odds of weathering this disaster. Reggie, we're getting there. You know, what a difference a day makes. 24 hours ago, the mood here was one of fear and uncertainty. But take a look at these white sand beaches. They were packed today, not just because of some beautiful weather, but also because we're getting some word now that there is no oil anywhere immediately near the Florida coast. And optimism finally abounds. For all of this, the magnitude of it continues to get larger. BP is probably in way over their heads. Hundreds of thousands of people will be out of jobs. There's a little bit of this. That it wouldn't just be tragedy that brings us together. But Pastor Jack Kale led an afternoon prayer circle to keep the oil away, just like he did three days earlier. Sunday evening, uh, the word was that the oil was supposed to hit on Monday, and uh, we prayed for God to protect these shores. And of course, it's Wednesday now, and they're saying we got 72 more hours. Uh, you know, people can say whatever they want, but uh, but we feel like we, we know where that's coming from. Call them the cup half full. They're the people here in the panhandle who are increasingly optimistic about their future as the estimated arrival time for that oil continues to get pushed back. Uh, I think Mother Nature may be smiling for the next couple of days and let us get some of the stuff cleaned up. Quinn Tigden is a fishing boat captain who knows just how fragile the white sands of Pensacola Beach are. Questions. That's why he drove an hour to volunteer to help BP clean up the spill. But his cup is half full with hope his services won't be necessary. I think it's easier to make yourself stay optimistic because it makes you want to get up and help. If you're pessimistic, I don't think that's a good situation. So as the captain, the pastor, and the rest of Pensacola Beach try to look at their cups as half full, it's becoming more evident that this beach isn't spilling over with oil, but optimism. It'll be interesting to hear the comments Governor Chris makes tomorrow when he returns to Pensacola. He was, of course, here yesterday, but this time he'll be bringing the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano, and, of course, we'll be there, too. Live on Pensacola Beach, Noah Pransky, 10 Connect.